Bill Rose, 219 Inverness. At the May 20th meeting last year, I raised the issue of determining sewer charges in a fair and equitable manner. Since the original presentation, this is the eighth month that winter average rates have been brought to your attention. It must be noted that the issue has never been placed on a mud agenda for discussion and action. The solution to the mud one customer ripoff is to adopt winter average rates. On December 20th, I posted the following on TC Facebook site, TCV Facebook site. Under the MUD's antiquated sewer rate structure, those who water lawns will pay 100% of the revenue bond for the new sewer plant. That's right, no increase for commercial or apartment customers. To which Director Thomas responded, this is simply not correct. The residential property has a cap on sewer charges of 18,000 gallons. There's no cap on commercial accounts. They pay sewer rates on 100% of water used. That's true. This chart, illustrating before and after costs, clearly shows that the only group with increased costs to pay for the $9.2 million revenue bond are those using more than 10,000 gallons of water. More specifically, those who water their lawns. Group one would be somebody living in an apartment using 2,000 gallons. The rate did not change, therefore their cost did not change. Group two would be somebody, a uh, single family residence using 10,000 gallons of water. Once again, the rate did not change, their cost did not change. Group four would be a commercial customer. Now I stopped the slide at 18,000 gallons, but it makes no difference whether they use 18,000 gallons or 60,000 gallons. The rate stays the same, their cost does not change. The only group that the cost changes on are those residents who have lawns and water those lawns because the cap has changed. That group will pick up 100% of the revenue bond's cost because of increased costs. This chart shows the difference in annual cost for the same level of service between commercial, shown in the green, and a single family residential shown in red. On the right is the ripoff column. This is the additional cost paid annually by single family residential customers. Winter average rates will correct this just like they will correct the previous slide. We're getting to look at watering restrictions. New stage two, the goal is a minimum of 10% reduction. The general manager told the town council that you're looking at more than a 10% reduction. That reduction will impact your revenue. Based on this data comes from your FY15 budget, shows a 10% reduction, reduced revenue about $450,000. Now the good side of this is you're not gonna be buying the water. So there's a deduction off that of about 290,000. Roughly, based on that data, and I'm gonna say right now that that is only budget, that's not actual world. It's time. You're, thank you, gentlemen. I'll see you next month. Uh, looking at the agenda here, talking about uh, provide staff direction on annual water and sewer rate review, I would uh, strongly encourage you to uh, encourage the staff to come back with a sewer rate that is fair and equitable across all your users. Just passed a $9.3 million, $9.23 million bond. The payoff on that is $12,333,513.82. I'm worried about the 82 cents. No, seriously, that's all levied on that one particular group of people to water their lawns more than 10 and less than 18,000 gallons. And I'd like to see those costs spread across to the rest of the users. Thank you. Okay, uh, I would like to ask uh, all of the directors uh, to forget this bunch of lies that's put on the, the web pages, uh, to forget winter averaging. We've looked at that enough. I think it's, we have a lot more important things to do uh, than to mess with that sort of thing. And so I ask all the directors uh, to put all your feelings aside, good, bad, or indifferent, and totally ignore and forget the whole thing. If you would do that, I think we can move ahead and get our work done a whole lot easier.
Dr. Rose. Uh, Billy, I see you want to talk about winter average rates again. Uh, if it will save you any time, the, uh, we did not consider winter, winter average rates. Uh, we do not intend to consider winter average rates. Uh, we are very happy with the rates that we've got and the way it fits in with the communities around us. And uh, having said that, your own. <laughs>